In this activity, we're going to explore interior angles of polygons. In the warm-up activities, you already looked at triangles, quadrilaterals, and figured out how you can partition a polygon into smaller triangles in order to figure out the sum of the interior angles. We're also going to learn a formula to help us with the sum of those interior angles. I'm going to start by drawing a triangle, which may or may not be to scale. Now this is supposed to be isosceles, so I'm going to assume that these bottom angles are the same measure. Uh, they say the base angles are each twice the measure of a, the smaller angle. So whatever that smaller angle is, I'm going to think of it as x, the base angles are double it. So if I look at all of these angles, I can conclude oops, that I can write this equation x plus 2x plus another 2x is going to equal the sum of all my angles, which is 180. Combining like terms, we get 5x equals 180, and dividing both sides by 5, we can solve and get x is 36. Now remember, this is our smaller angle, which means that our base angles are each double that, so 72 degrees. And it might be worth just adding them up on the side just to make sure that they do indeed add to 180, which they do. So the sum of our angles is 180 degrees. Our base angles are each 72, which is double our smaller angle. And so our final answer is that x, sorry, that our, our base angle is 72 degrees. For the next problem, uh, they're asking us, what is the measure of the sum of the internal angles of a regular dodecagon? And we're getting the hint here what that it has 12 sides. What is the measure of each interior angle of the regular dodecagon? So the first question about the sum of the interior angles. Well, when we looked at our triangle before, we know that the sum of the angles was 180 degrees. When we were looking at a quadrilateral, we could partition that into two triangles, and its sum was 360 degrees. Likewise, the five-sided shape, right number of sides, three, four, five, is going to add another 180 degrees to our total here, 540 degrees. So there's another way we can think of this, and that's with a formula, which is that if we take the number of sides of the triangle and we subtract two, we can multiply that number by 180, and that will give us the sum of the interior angles. If we then want to know the measure of each interior angle, we can take that formula and divide it by the number of sides. Once we have the total, we divide it by n, and that will get each interior angle of a regular um, shape, regular polygon. Right, each int angle. So this has two questions. We're going to solve each part. So looking at the first part, it is asking about a dodecagon, which is a 12-sided shape. So we can plug this into our formula, 12 minus 2, that's 10. All right. So the sum of the internal angles, the interior angles, is 1,800 degrees. And then each interior angle of that regular shape to solve that, we're going to plug it in and divide by n. So I can just step, jump right to the 1800 divided by 12 step. And when I complete that division, I get 900 over 6, uh, 300 over 2, or 150 degrees for the second part of that question. Moving on to the third question. If the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 170 degrees, how many sides does it have? We're going to use the same formula that we finished with on the last page, which was the 180 times n minus 2 divided by n. That's going to give us the measure of the interior angle of a regular polygon. And we already know that for this problem, the answer is 170. 170 degrees is equal to each angle inside of some polygon. How many sides does that polygon have? Well, I'm going to solve this equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by n. And now I'm going to have to use some properties of equality. So the first thing I notice is that I should use the distributive property of multiplication here. So 180n minus 360, and carrying this term, this expression down, 170n is equal to all of that. All right, uh, to keep my equation balanced, I'm going to subtract 180n from both sides. 
That leaves me with negative 10n. Actually, let me change colors here. That leaves me with <laughs> negative 10n is equal to negative 360. To finish solving this equation, I need to divide both sides by the coefficient of n, which is negative 10, and negative 360 divided by negative 10 is 36. So this polygon has 36 sides. All right, try out some of those uh, piece it together problems.